The voyages of Columbus and Magellan proved that the Earth is round. For the next two centuries, cartographers were busy developing the new global concept of the Earth, devising various map projections in order to show the... Map projections? No wonder geography's hard. What is a projection anyway? Oh, a uh, projection. Map projection. A method of representing the Earth's surface on flat paper, according to a system of parallels and meridians. But why should I bother about map projections and all that global stuff? That's not for me. Are you sure, Danny? Take your flexible ruler. Suppose you wanted to find the shortest route from Washington to Moscow. Put one end of your ruler on Washington, the other on Moscow. Oh, I see. And a polar projection shows the relationships of these northern countries even more clearly. A polar projection? Yes, like the map on your wall. But I thought this was just a map. Oh, I see. Polar projection. What's so hard about making a projection like that on flat paper? Take something round, Dan. That rubber ball. What? Take half of it. Half of it? Hey! Now, try to flatten it out. Like this? Keep trying. But it doesn't work. I mean, it doesn't lie flat. That's the problem cartographers have had to solve. You're very observing, Dan, and very right. Now, take out your globe and look at it. Australia on the projection is not the same shape as Australia on the globe because of distortion. Distortion? You know, if you look at that map hard enough, you do get a different idea of the world. And you do begin to realize why it's important to understand this global concept in maps. Thank <laughs> you.